welcome back <clears throat> so in this lecture we'll see uh, what are the different possibilities to uh, apply a feedback so we are talking about negative feedback in amplifiers uh, so we'll see how a portion of output can be uh, taken and fed back to the input so basically there are two things here one is we need to uh, get a part of output so i can say that i need to get a sample of output and the second thing is so i'll call this process sampling and second thing is feeding back so i need to get a portion of output and then i need to feed back so basically there are uh, four different ways which i can do this uh, we used to call it as voltage series feedback as you already know we have done an experiment in lab voltage series feedback uh, current series feedback and then the third one is voltage shunt feed feedback and the last one is current shunt feedback these are the uh, four possible ways which i can do this feedback so <clears throat> before understanding these four configuration we should know one thing uh, whenever you have a voltage source if i need to add to voltage source how i can add is uh, by connecting in series right i can add two voltage sources by connecting in series and whenever i have two current sources how how i can add two currents i can add two current sources by connecting in parallel right so this we need to understand voltage sources i can add i can add two voltage sources or, or i can combine two voltage sources by connecting in uh, series and similarly i can combine two current sources or i can add two current sources by connecting in shunt now when i look back at these four uh, nomenclature or these four namings voltage series feedback current series feedback voltage shunt feedback and current shunt feedback basically the first term refers to uh, so <clears throat> i told that i need to sample i need to get a part of output and i should feed feedback so the sampling can be either i can uh, get a part of output voltage or i can get a part of output current i can get either a voltage component or a current component similarly i can feed back voltage or current so depending on so if you see i can uh, sample a part of output as voltage or current and i can feed back as voltage or current so there are four combinations that is why i got four combinations of feedback if i look here the naming is in such a way that if i am getting a part of output voltage i'll write voltage first now if i am feeding back voltage so i told that already there is a voltage and i am feeding back some voltage i can uh, connect two voltage sources in series so in a, in the case of voltage series feedback what i am doing is i am sensing or i am sampling a part of output voltage and feeding back as voltage how i can understand that it is a voltage series feedback so i have taken a output voltage a part of output voltage and since uh, i am connecting in uh, since the feedback is also a voltage i can add that only in series that is why the name is voltage series feedback similarly when i say current series feedback so what i am sensing here is output current i am getting a part of output current and since it is in series and i am feeding back a feeding back as voltage since it is series i am feeding back as voltage similarly when i say voltage shunt feedback sensing output as voltage then is it is a shunt feedback how i am feeding back yeah feeding back as current feedback is actually current similarly the last one current shunt feedback 
sensing output current since it is current shunt since it is shunt feedback even i am feeding back current only right so these are the four different types of feedback voltage series feedback current series feedback voltage shunt feedback and current shunt feedback the first term represents whether i am getting a part of output voltage or output current so if it is voltage series feedback i am getting a part of output voltage now the second term represents uh, the feedback quantity if it is series what i am feeding back is voltage if it is shunt what i am feeding back is current so uh, that is what i explain here i can add two voltage sources by connecting in series and i can add two current sources by connecting uh, by connecting it as shunt so these are the four nomenclature so you should understand this properly so in the next lecture we'll see uh, one typical example and how this feedback is changing the characteristics what what we have seen is by feedback gain is actually reduced as a by 1 plus a beta where 1 plus a beta is the amount of feedback similarly in all these four configuration we'll see what will happen to r in as well as r out input resistance as well as output resistance whether the feedback is having some effect on the uh, input uh, as well as output impedance thank you